Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having a great day today. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and for those of you that have been kind of wondering where I've been, especially with the Dollar Tree hauls or why my upload schedule has been kind of sporadic, it's just because I have a lot going on right now. Actually, my whole family does. And so I've just been very busy and I pretty much just upload right now when I have the time to do so. And especially with like summer coming up and my kids are getting out of school, actually, my son is on his way here right now. Um, my husband just picked him up from the airport and he's on his way home. So I'm very excited to spend the summer with my son. For those of you that don't know, my son went to live with his dad last year in another state so i get him for the summers and school breaks so i'm very excited to see him for the summer so i'll also be spending a lot of time um, with my family and my kids and making them a priority but i just wanted to let you guys know that i definitely haven't forgotten about you guys and i definitely haven't forgotten about dollar tree so that's what we're going to be doing today thank you so much for being patient and your understanding so let's go ahead and get started with this haul speaking of end of the school year. My son's school just got out, but my daughter's school has not yet. And she's going to be graduating or being promoted from um, kindergarten to the first grade. And unfortunately, they're not doing a like promotion ceremony for kindergarten. I'm not sure why. It was a thing when I was a kid. I don't know if that's just something that doesn't happen anymore, but I was super sad about it. But I did get her this cute little um, card for her going into the first grade and being promoted out of kindergarten and I'm, I'll probably do like an ice cream party like I do every year on the last day of school for my kids and in the picture frame section I found the cutest little wood tabletop picture frame so it does have like the little kickstand in the back it's wrapped up and I just thought this was different how it's kind of like in a landscaped I guess orientation and it's very small as well so I just thought this would be really cute to have on my desk and I'm not sure if I'm going to paint this or not I actually like the natural wood like right now would look right now and also speaking of that natural wood look you guys I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for Dollar Tree to come out with the natural wood beads and they finally did I only got one package of these because I actually have a ton of these that I purchased off of Amazon in different sizes. So this bag has, I think, three or four different sizes in here, which is awesome. And so you get 175 total wood beads. So this is excellent if you like to DIY and make your own like garlands for the different seasons to use in your tiered tray or in your decor or other projects maybe to put around borders of picture frames. Find those at Dollar Tree if you can and grab several bags because you can do so many different DIYs and seasonal decor with those wooden beads. In the checkout section of Dollar Tree, I found four new journals. And these three right here are like health and fitness goal journals. And then this one right here is like a mood tracker and kind of like diary style of journal so maybe like to track your mental health which i think is awesome because i've never seen dollar tree if i can remember correctly i've never seen them do like a like health tracker style of journal but these are by crown jewels um which is a dollar tree brand and so let's go ahead and get into these journals so this one is the like mood tracker and i really love the theme of it so you can maybe color in your mood and then it has several pages where you can write your goals. So they're all like this for, um, I guess like the printed page. And then you just have a, a bunch of like lined sheets with these really cute designs on them. The pattern pretty much just repeats until you get to like maybe the next month. So it looks like maybe there's one of these like dashboard pages for every month in here. I just thought this was really neat. So I found that one. And then these three right here, I think are all the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip through like maybe one of them and show you guys, but I'll show you guys the covers again. So here are these three. This one is definitely my favorite. 
but on the inside, this one is a little bit more detailed. So you get like your month at a glance for your goals. You get a measurement. I feel like a teacher whenever I do this. <laughs> you get your measurement dashboard or page um, that you can keep track of all of your different um, measurements. And also you have a weight tracker over here, which is awesome. A few years ago, I lost a lot of weight and I will say that keeping a journal, at least for me, um, I felt like helped a lot with my motivation and, and like holding myself accountable. So if you haven't tried that, I definitely recommend um, even, and I didn't have anything fancy like this when I was going through my weight loss journey. I just used like a regular, I think, composition notebook and like literally just wrote down um, my, in like, doodled my like little square boxes kind of like this so kind of like a bullet journal I guess um but this is really neat that Dollar Tree has this you have a meal tracker on here a fit tracker and then it has like your different times of the day on here to keep track it has your grocery list right here for like meal prep I just think this is so awesome and it just has, again, one for every month in here. So it's like it, the pattern repeats with the different pages that you get. So I think this is awesome. I actually have a um, planner that I just bought recently and I haven't been using it. I, I'm, I'm kicking myself because I just went and bought a couple of different planners at the beginning of the year, and I have completely switched to digital planning. I just find it's more convenient, at least for like me right now, especially because my life is so busy. I just have one planner that I purchased off of Etsy and I uploaded into GoodNotes. If you have an iPad um, or you're an iPhone user, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I just find that digital planning for me right now is the most realistic again just because I have a lot going on um, but these can be used as a planner you could put these in your planner as well you can even punch holes in these and then put it as like an addition to your planner as well um, so that's just something I wanted to throw in there I found a new wall decal design and I just fell in love with it I really like the simplicity of the rosettes. I just think they're very simple. I actually picked up two of them because I want to try to um, use these in my family command center maybe and decorate like a big um, frame that I just painted. I don't know. I might use that for something else but um, or these for something else but that's just kind of why I picked up two because I think I thought maybe I would use it for that. Okay, in the tech section, I found a bunch of these new prints for their tech cases. And they're all fruit, which is perfect for the summertime. I just think these are so adorable. And I don't actually just leave them like this. I turn them into keychains. And I've made a couple for my daughter for her to attach to her backpack for school. I've made one for my son as well. He doesn't really use his, but I've made a couple for my daughter so she can attach them to her backpack at school. And I, I had made them so she could put her masks in them when we had to wear masks. But now that we don't, I think that these can also be used for something else. Of course, you could put your earbuds in it, AirPods, whatever. But I also think that these would be good to maybe put your chapstick or your keys or um, maybe some money in here if you're going to the gym. I think these are awesome if you just attach a little uh, lobster claw hook onto them and then you can attach it to your keychain. Um, that's what I just like to do with these. And I thought these were so cute for the summertime. You can also decal these with, if you have a vinyl cutting machine and you can personalize them as well. And also in the tech section, I found some new cable protectors in fruit as well. I just thought these were adorable and I should have picked up two of each because 
when I saw these, I actually thought of like turning them into earrings. That's just the first thing that came to my mind, especially like these strawberry and lime. The strawberry and the lime. I need to go pick up another set because I really think I want to turn these into earrings somehow. Um, I'm into like making jewelry right now. I haven't had a lot of time to do it. Um, but I just saw these as like from a like charm perspective, not necessarily as like a tech or cable protector. Um, so yeah, I think these are lightweight enough to use for making earrings. You could also use them and make maybe bracelets or charms out of them. You can maybe hot glue them to a paper clip and make a cute little paper clip for your planners. I just thought these were so cute. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And I did find a new accessory in the pet section. It is this pet travel bowl, collapsing pet travel bowl that has one of these. I always forget what these hooks are called, um, but it has one of these that you can hook onto a keychain or a backpack. We actually go hiking and we go on walks quite a bit with our dogs and we have one similar to this it's just a little bit bigger but I thought it would be nice to have a backup to put on our little hiking backpacks so I went ahead and grabbed another one this also came in blue and pink as well but I just went ahead and got the gray all right getting towards the end of this haul I did pick up some of these magnetic tins I've seen a ton of different DIYs and uses for these little magnetic tins. I've seen people use these in RVs as like little spice containers because they can um, stick to the refrigerator. I've also seen these in craft rooms to hold little bits and pieces like thumbtacks and paper clips and whatnot. And I always forget to grab this every time I'm at Dollar Tree and I just remembered this time so I went ahead and got it. A couple of restock items. I needed to pick up some new eyelash glue by Ioni. I really love this. What I will say about the Ioni lash glue though is that it does tend to dry out pretty quickly. I don't know if that's normal for eyelash glue. I'm pretty new to the whole um, false eyelashes community, I guess. I just started wearing them um, in the last couple of years. So um, I just pick up my lashes and my lash glue from Dollar Tree because I really love the Ioni brand. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And in the hardware or tool bench section of Dollar Tree, I picked up more of these organizers. You guys, these are the best. I have been going crazy and organizing everything in my house with these bins. I've organized batteries. I've organized my craft room. I've put beads in there. I organize my earring sets in here. I've been organizing my junk drawers. <laughs> I've been organizing like crazy with these. These are awesome. These are a hidden gem, I feel like, at Dollar Tree. So every time I go, I find myself picking up more and more because I'm just going nuts organizing. I absolutely love these. And again, these are a hidden gem at Dollar Tree. So next time you go, pick up a few and start organizing and you'll soon be addicted to these little storage cases. All right, so now for the grand finale of this haul, I have been waiting for this for a couple of months now, ever since I saw it on dollartree.com and it finally came to my store. This whole bag, you guys, this entire bag is filled with the new Dollar Tree pegboard system. And I'm pretty sure I got the whole collection. I might have missed a couple of things, um, but I did get all of like the white accessories. There was also, um, the black pegboard and black accessories, but I went ahead and went with white. I actually have a white pegboard behind me and I get asked a lot where I got that from and I got it from Ikea. I love that thing. Um, so I'm really excited about these because I'm hoping that these accessories will fit with my Ikea pegboard system. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Um, I mean, that's just a way Ikea can make money is only selling things that go with their and work with their system, at least from like a marketing strategy, I would think so. But I did get all of these. Actually, let me pull these out. 
all of the accessories that I found. You guys, this is insane. I saw a whole end cap filled with these and I had to get them. Okay, so there's three, three or four different sizes of the pegboards. Now, these are not very large. I mean, obviously you're gonna need a ton of these if you wanna make something big like this back here. You're gonna need a ton of, a ton of these. And also I do want to point out that on the back of each piece, there's four little slots that you need these four. And these are the adhesive pieces that go to mount this. So from what I understand, work kind of like a command strip so that you don't need to put holes in your wall. So I don't know how heavy duty the adhesive is or how much weight it will hold or if it will peel the paint off of your walls. I have no idea. I haven't tested this out yet. Um, but what I was saying is you're going to need a bunch of these if you're planning on using this system, unless you figure out another way to mount these without using these. So I would say, and I have to run the, I guess the the comps or comparables to the, like the Ikea pegboard system versus getting it at Dollar Tree, but I know Ikea is not available to everyone. But I think accessory wise, Dollar Tree is definitely the way to go. But let me stop chatting about this and just show you guys the product. Um, I also got this size. So here is that in comparison. So you would need two of these, two packs of these to make this size. And I also found this size. So here, and I'll, I'll probably spread these out on the floor and show you guys. It might just be easier to do it that way. So you could essentially make like your own design. You could take several of these longer ones, right? And put them in a line across um, the front, or I'm sorry, the back of your desk. And you can hang like different cups on there to put pens in. Um, here is one of those cups. So you could do something like that, or you can, you can just make your own design. It doesn't have to be a rectangle like that in the background is what I'm trying to say. So this is really awesome, you guys. I found so many different accessories again for it. So I got several of this size. I think I got like six of these because I want to do that. I want to run this along um, the back of my desk to be able to put like different cups and shelves in. But let me show you guys the different accessories that I found. So I found these pegboard hooks. So these ones are longer, kind of like something you would see in the store the pegboard hooks and then I found these hooks which is like a strip of three so here are those two side by side and then I found some ring hooks ring and loop hooks in two different styles and sizes so it's like right here it's showing you you can put like scissors in that one I don't know what you would put in this you could maybe hang things on those or um, I'm not sure what you would put in that one, but sure I could find something in my craft room. And then I found shelving as well. So this is like a, just a square shelf. And then this one is a longer shelf. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome, you guys. And then this one is a tray shelf. I think that was it. And also I just want to quickly mention that you can paint these as well. Like if you don't like the, the black or the white um, that they sell, you can paint these. I actually saw that um, done on an Instagram DIYers post. She actually painted these like a really beautiful blush pink. And then she actually put like a picture frame around it. And it just looked so cute, you guys. I'll have to find... Um, that Instagram post and link it or like put up a picture of it. Um, but the DIYer, her name is, I don't know what her name is, but her channel name is Lemon Life Avenue. And she has some of the like the cutest DIYs, but that's what she did with um, the 
Dollar Tree pegboard system. She actually painted it to match her decor in her um, craft room and it turned out really cute. So you can do something like that as well. And also I have one more thing to show you guys. It's another organizer from Jot. It is this hanging organizer shelf. It doesn't go with the pegboard system because it does come with like mounting screws on it. But I thought this was cool as well to pick up and you could also paint this as well. I will probably spray paint this like a mint color to go with my, or maybe white, to go with my, um, I guess, color scheme for my craft room. So that's another thing that I found. I'm so excited. Dollar Tree is putting out more products, especially like organizational products for like crafts. It's just so exciting. It's so exciting to see that now our dollar 25 is getting us more products. All right, guys, so that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And be sure to comment down below and let me know what is on your Dollar Tree wish list or what you have added to your Dollar Tree wish list after watching this haul. Again, thank you guys so much for being patient and for watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for spending your time, your precious time watching my videos. It does mean the world to me and I'm so grateful for all of you. So until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.